the, the main message is for them to understand that this is the most important time of their life. This is the time when they make decisions that essentially affect them for the rest of their lives. So they have to learn good lifestyle habits. When you learn, you don't learn them at 70 years age, you learn them when you're young. So if they learn good lifestyle habits at this age, if they learn about taking care of their family, you know, loving their family, being a part of a loving member of a loving family, without working within, in the, within the construct of a loving family, they're better off. Healthy mind, healthy body, like the old Greeks used to say, it's, you know, work out, take care of your body, take care of your mind, work hard in school, become the best you can be that way, take care of yourself physically, you feel better about yourself, you look better, you feel better, you are better, and you're, you know, you, you stroke your ego that way, you have a healthier sense of self-esteem, and the more confidence you have, the better off you are, and it shows and it glows, you know, and uh, when you have a good sense of, of who you are, and, and it's easier to make the right decisions. When you have love at home, when you have people that care about you, you care about them, you're happier. The happier you are, the more happy you are to make the right decisions in life. The unhappier you are, the easier to just get pulled off track and make the wrong decisions. So it's important to be happy. So what constitutes happiness, in my mind, having being tight with your family, doing well in school, taking care of your body. That's it. And having faith in the good Lord, all those things. You feel good about yourself, you, you know, you have faith in God, you have... You have faith in life. You have faith in, in the people that care about you. And when you have that kind of bond with people, uh, it's good. You all need friends. We all need good, strong family members. We all need good friends in life. We all, and those are things we learn as young people. And those are things we 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 make as young people, lifetime friends. I have friends. I'm lucky. I have friends from my childhood. I've got friends from kids in grade one. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm, I'm lucky that way. And I think it's important to have good friends. Good, important to be able to talk to people. Important to be able to confide in people. Important to be able to share life with people. To share life with people that you love. And it all starts at home. You know, it starts at home, but it goes out to the general community too. The reaction was quite good. I think the kids would seem to be, uh, very, you know, I uh, seem to have the rapt attention. They seem to be very attentive, and I was pretty happy about that. And they were very uh, polite. And you know, always know when they come up after, if you get enough kids coming up asking for an autograph or a little memento of what happened today, so that's a good sign. So I think most of the kids uh, were, were happy I was here. Made, they made me feel that way anyway. And I was, uh, I'm, I'm glad I came to Campbellford. I kind of met the kids and, uh, and, uh, and when they get that kind of response, uh, you always feel good. That's kind of like, like the kind of steam you need to keep going. You know, I get a little, I get a little steam from them, and it gives me the, you know, the impetus to keep going. So that's good.